hello everyone and welcome to online video tutorials in this video we are going to see job dates which are coming from intel intel is a very big company and you can see that uh, it is uh, like uh, somewhere in your computer also whether you are using uh, any laptop uh, there is some or other part of from the intel uh, there are uh, microchips by them there are various innovations there are various uh, new technologies and uh, all of you might be knowing about the intel and uh, there are few recruitments like uh, there are uh, approximately thousand of the recruitment but uh, most of the recruitments uh, are either uh, outside india and uh, some of them which are in india they are requiring a uh, much year of experience so i have uh, shortlisted few which uh, are requiring very less years of experience and uh, some of them are even uh, for freshers like uh, no uh, no experience is required and uh, in all these positions there is no requirement of uh, depositing any fees it is completely free to apply so if you are eligible you can apply in uh, any one of these uh, opportunities or um, in more than one opportunity also all right so we'll be discussing these and uh, let's see who of you are eligible so you have to be till the last of the video and if you are new to this channel uh, in this channel you get uh, regular job dates regarding mechanical civil electrical electronics cs branch engineering job dates so you can subscribe this channel and uh, let's get started with this first of all graduate engineer uh, for graduate engineers there is uh, this graduate intern position we'll be discussing it and then there is this graphics hardware engineer position and then there is fpga design application engineer acceleration system there is operation research engineer and then gd functional val engineer so first of all starting with the graduate intern at the intel this is a job code you can just uh, uh, note it down somewhere so that uh, it would be easy for you to find and uh, otherwise i'll be sharing this uh, link of the website also with you so work mode will be the hybrid like uh, work from home and uh, work from office hybrid mode intern uh, position is there first position is intern but there are other positions also we'll be discussing so location uh, bangalore location is uh, mentioned and uh, job responsibility quite diverse uh, of the technical nature for freshers qualification minimum qualification required to be initially covered for this position it means uh, you need to be pass out right you need not to be in the final year or uh, need not to have give the uh, examination yet and uh, preferred qualification are in addition to the minimum requirements and to be uh, yeah so nothing is much mentioned just uh, any branch of the uh, btec qualified so you can apply right uh, requirement uh, this is mentioned and then posting statement benefits are given working model is given so this is uh, for the intern position graduate intern right after that uh, and uh, this graduate intern position is though branch is not mentioned but uh, it would be more suitable for the electronics and computer science branch because most of the work is regarding that and if we go by the graphics hardware engineer so that again is in the bengaluru and hyderabad location this is gr00019702 engineering role is there work mode uh, they haven't uh, mentioned it is the entry level job okay and uh, this is the gd gd uh, this like a uh, job description okay best performance and the uh, power balance specifically to these kind of areas and a qualification btech or mtech both can apply and uh, their uh, location is mentioned pro, um, posting statement and the benefits total compensation package will include basically these uh, packages are negotiable and uh, more of the cases these are uh, more than 5 lpa and uh, sometime it goes uh, to the 10 12 lpa or uh, if you are having some years of experience so that uh, goes to the 14 lpa or 25 lpa also so salary is not a problem uh, when you are working in the intel because uh, as per your uh, caliber there is uh, much to offer and uh, there are these uh, kind of uh, opportunities and uh, these kind of uh, things mentioned i am not reading through all of the things i am just showing you a glimpse of these next we have this fpga design application engineer and uh, this is acceleration system bangalore location is there software engineering job so most of uh, software engineering or the cs branch uh, you can apply hybrid engineering uh, hybrid model is there entry level job is there but uh, some of the experience one year experience was uh, asked because this is uh, quite a uh, selected role fpga designer and the if you have knowledge in these you can just pause the video and go through this that uh, what kind of the knowledge is required here pcie networking uh, uh, ethernet mac and uh, most of the networking kind of thing will be required like uh, fpga design 
job is there right so profile is clear minimum qualification they have mentioned that successful candidate should possess the masters of the science degree in the computer science or even electrical engineering is also allowed or alternatively a bachelor science degree in the electrical engineering with a minimum 5 years of related experience or the system design experience of 1 uh, plus years of experience okay so either you have like bachelor of science with the 5 years of experience or you have this uh, master's degree with the 1 plus years of experience both are suitable uh, and uh, fpga these uh, kind of uh, softwares and uh, this kind of uh, skill set you need to have so advanced is english uh, is also required and uh, then uh, these uh, other normal things okay so you can just go to the apply and uh, apply in this if you are eligible so till now we have seen the vacancies like a uh, graduate intern uh, all of you most most of you might be eligible then uh, graphic hardware engineer in this also branch is not uh, specified so that is also a good opportunity but uh, for this fpga electrical and uh, cs branch are eligible then we go to the operational research engineer so operational research engineer is also entry level job it is in uh, bangalore and uh, china so cons- uh, and also in malaysia so this is uh, the job description of it 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 will also be related to the operation research and uh, uh, some year of experience is required basically it is for mtech and uh, phd so if you are having mtech degree then 3 uh, plus years of relevant experience and if you are having phd degree then i think 1 uh, years of experience here yeah. so yeah this is there and uh, what are the branches so uh, there uh, out of these two you need to have any one of the like uh, either mtech with 3 plus years of experience or uh, uh this phd with 1 plus years of experience and uh, operation research industrial engineering system engineering management sciences related discipline okay again the same thing and then uh, these kind of uh, software knowledge and then uh, going back uh, these skill sets okay so clear indication of uh, that uh, salary is not uh, anywhere but uh, as i told you that you can also google that uh, what is the salary or uh, average salary of this post so that is a good salary here as well and then uh, we go for by the jis uh, gt functional val engineering so this is uh, hyderabad and bangalore location engineering entry level job and uh, in this some years of experience will also be required masters or the bachelor degree in the electrical electronics or computer engineering with 5 to 10 years of experience and uh, these are skill sets okay so this is it for this video i hope uh, you might be eligible for uh, starting uh, these post and uh, if you are eligible for other post also you can apply in all five of these so this is it for this video see you in the next one thank you have a nice day